In this video, I'll guide you through real must-know for Power BI developers, connection types. Hello guys, my name is Michał Bicki and welcome to Data Maniac's channel. In this video, we'll cover a really important topic that is how Power BI connects to data. Within Power BI, we got three different connection types. The first one is import, the second one is direct query, and the last is live connection. And we go through all of those, explain how they work, what are their strengths, what are their disadvantages, and when to use which one. So let's start with import. Import is the most basic connection type that is available for most of the data sources that are available within Power BI. So how import works? It's very simple. Basically, when we use import, Power BI connects to the data source, drags the data to our report, our dashboard, stores that within data set, and it's there. We can say that it's kind of like cache. So Power BI has that information straight next to the report. It's available quickly and allows us to use the most of Power BI functionalities. All right, so what are the benefits of using import mode? So the very first one is that the data that you have is straight next to the report. So whenever you make any calculation within the report, whenever you want to create a new visual and drag there, uh, the data, the data is available immediately. So there is no latency, like if we, con if we don't connect to any server, we just use the data which is stored within data set, which is part of our file. Secondly, we got the full functionality of Power Query. So whenever your data source is not perfect, then you have full capability to fix that within Power Query Editor. You can split columns, you can make text uppercase, lowercase, replace, change, change the type of the columns and so on. Everything is available straight away and you can utilize that to create the perfect data model. The third benefit is that we got the full functionality of DAX. You can, uh, you can write basically any measure, you can add column with DAX, you can even create a table and it will work just fine. So now you might be wondering what are the disadvantages of import mode and we got few of them. So the very first one is that we cache the data. We don't connect live to our source We whenever there is a change within the data source, someone, for example, made a new transaction in our database or new records are added to Excel spreadsheet that we connect to, then the data are no longer up to date till you press refresh button on your report or you schedule a refresh online. Additionally, we got limits when it comes to the volume of data that you want to use for the report. Basically, when you use Pro License, your limit is set up to one gigabyte. Uh, or if you have Premium License, then the volume, I believe, it's up to 10 gigabytes. And it's very important that it is referring to compressed data. It is not referring to the raw data size. If you might have faced the situation that you imported some CSV file or um, imported uh, lots of data from database, it could be a couple of gigabytes, but it is usually compressed by Power BI to much lower size. All right, guys, let's jump to the next connection type, which is direct query. Direct query is the connection that works usually with relational databases, SQL type uh, databases. As well, there are some, uh, some other connections that it works with like data flows and recently connection to data set. You can set it up to be in direct query mode and direct query doesn't store any information within your report. Basically, we set only the connection and then we, whenever you use anything on your visualization, then Power BI is sending a query to database. The database is sending back the records related to your query 
and those are represented on the visuals. So possibly you might be asking, all right, so why not using that all the time? So firstly, we are limited mostly to databases. You cannot connect to Excel files or any basically files. You need to have a database or server that returns you the query results. And we are limited as well to couple of um, couple of databases that are certified by Microsoft where where the direct query mode works fine additionally we have limited functionality of uh, power query and DAX so not everything works just fine and um, the most of the um, transformations that you you would use with Excel files within import mode they wouldn't work basically with Power Query. So our data source, and by that I mean uh, our database that we are connecting to, it must be set up correctly to be as close to our data model as possible. All, all the data types needs to be sorted, the dictionary tables should be sorted, and so on. So we got a couple of limits here that will make our work a bit more difficult. The third connection type is live connection. It's possible that when you use Power BI Desktop, you notice that there is an icon connect to Power BI dataset. And basically what it does, it connects to an another dataset that was created usually for some other repo. When we connect to existing data dataset within the service, our options are um, a bit more limited compared to import so we cannot add any tables we cannot add any columns to data set we can basically use whatever there is and uh, the only option that we can do is we can play with the front end we can add new visuals and we can add DAX measures actually apart from that there is a fourth connection type so the fourth connection type is so-called composite model and it's a mix, it's kind of like hybrid between direct query and import. It works the way that you can, you can have a couple of tables connected within import mode and a couple of tables created with direct query mode. Usually when I use this kind of connection, I set up the dictionary tables uh, to be imported. So those don't, do not change that often. Uh, whereas the main tables with, uh, with the results on which we calculate KPIs, we calculate measures, those are the tables that I set to direct query mode because they change the most often. Uh, the downside of using the composite model is that we are still limited to DAX and there are some performance issues when we got a mixed setup of import and uh, direct query. Alright guys, so you already know what are available connection types within Power BI, but now there is a question which to use at which situation? When to use import, when to use direct query and when to use the live connection. So let's start with import, which is the most basic connection type. So import, as I already explained, it stores the data in cache and data is refreshed at some interval or whenever you press refresh button on your desktop. So import is most useful when you don't need to track your data uh, live. You don't need to see all the, ch all the changes immediately. Maybe you have some monthly reports, weekly reports, then for sure you can use import mode. Another case when you use import mode is as well when you, the size of your data is not so huge. So if your dataset is around 100 megabytes, it's pretty safe to use import mode usually. It is possible to have larger datasets within import mode, up to one gigabyte or 10 gigabytes, depending on your license. I wouldn't recommend uh, to use uh, import mode for larger datasets because you see that your reports will be very slow basically. The third reason to use uh, import mode is when you are prototyping. So when you prototype your report, uh, you usually work on some extract of data 
and then when you are fine with the report you know what are what data transformations are needed then you pass it to the de to the backend developers that are developing database views just for you for switching later on to direct query mode all right so let's jump to direct query mode when to use that the first reason when you want to use direct query mode is when you want to see all the changes within your sources live. So whenever, whenever a user clicks basically on the dashboard, they got immediate results from database. So they are super fresh. Whenever you want that kind of experience, then you basically are aiming at direct query mode. Another reason to use direct query is when your data is super huge. So if your data source uh, takes a couple of terabytes of data, you wouldn't be able basically to download, uh, download that on any computer. Let's imagine I were Mark Zuckerberg and I wanted to create a, a report that represents all activity of Facebook users. I guess downloading terabytes or zettabytes of data would basically blow up your computer and it wouldn't be possible to upload that to Power BI service if you used import mode. So uh, for that, we would need to switch direct to direct query. So if I wanted to see the summary number of posts around the globe, the summary per country, then the database would return me the results per country. So that package would be relatively small. Then if I, for example, move to Poland, and then if I wanted to see the uh, results for uh, Polish cities, then uh, the database would return me this, another query, query result with only the uh, number of posts per city in, within Poland. And then if Mark wanted to see uh, what Michał Bitski did yesterday, then he would click on me and then r r the report would receive a small package of data related to me. So you can see that uh, if the data, data source collects a huge volume of data, then using the aggregations within the report, the actually the package size is relatively small. Lastly, when we want to use live connection, so we want to use that when we want to avoid data silosing. Uh, it is very common mistake for Power BI beginners that they create uh, separate data sets for each of the reports. However, when, the, when we got a couple of reports that address the same topic um, within the organization, then we would like actually to create one data set which stores the all data related to uh, those data sets and then we can reuse the measures then uh, as well if we want to make any change then we make the change only once and what is the most important uh, we have only one data set within our workspace so it doesn't take additional space all right guys so in this video we went through connection types within power bi and now you can experiment and play using various connection types within your reports. If you're interested in Power BI and you want to learn more, click subscribe button below this video. And if you like this video, click thumbs up button. Thank you guys for your attention and see you in the next video.